Hi well, guys, uh, welcome to another edition of Face. Uh, I am Ross Griffith, and joining me tonight is the leader of Tenacity and one quarter of uh, Enigmatic. Is that right? Yeah, along those lines, yeah. <laughs> uh, the pace setter, Adros J. Adros, thanks for joining me. No, that's cool, man. Thanks for having me. So, diving straight into it, have you always been a, a, a wrestling fan? Uh, yeah, more or less. Since I, I predominantly, I remember from like the age five onwards, is when it kind of kicked in for me. How, how did you? Um, what was your, what's your first memory of wrestling? Uh, my first memory. Um, it wasn't actually watching wrestling. It was actually my stepdad bringing home SmackDown. Here comes the pain, and oh. playing game that was that's the first thing i kind of remember after that it was uh wrestlemania 17 that kind of really kind of got me into it i'm just trying to think is that the one where um austin turned heel and uh joined vince possibly it it was actually the triple threat ladder match uh the hardys dudley's edge and christian that's one that got me into it oh no 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 i think that's um Oh God! Was it the final four-way match for the um, WWF title? It was um, Triple H, The Rock, uh, Mick Foley, and Big Show. Possibly, it's all blurred to me. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. <laughs> There's two. So, remember. <laughs> so, how how did you actually get into wrestling um, yourself as a wrestler? Um. I actually had like a taster session when I was like 13, but I was actually too young to join at the time. And that was down at um, IPW. Later on, oh. I, obviously I got older and uh, me and my brother Dominic, was he just came up to me around one day. I was like, hey man, I really want to get into some wrestling. I'm like, oh, I know a school if you want to join. He's like, let's go for it. And it was just instantly, we just joined and that's where we stuck. We just carried on ever since. So is that how the, how the friendship kind of... Um blossomed oh we've been you know, I've, I've known dominic since birth you know we, i yeah. say well, we're, we're brothers we, we legitimately are like, i've just known him for such a long time and it's just a case of that probably definitely made us the bond stronger for sure um it just means we get to see each other more often you know yeah i mean um i remember the first uh gen pro show i went to it was um Oh, I think it was Eden um, against Furio. Yeah, and um, he got misted, and I remember I remember you, you guys carrying him back. Yeah, and even then I saw how saw how strong the bond was. Yeah, without a doubt, you know us for as any mag, we're we're all really close, and we have been for the longest time. Obviously, myself and Dominic a lot more just because of the the time we spent together but yeah. without a doubt the bond before between all four of us is you know you can see it yeah so is that how um tenacity came about um tenacity kind of came about after the first part of enigmatic actually ended so enigmatic ended after dominic decided to take a break he he was kind of done with wrestling at that point and i was kind of just you know just floating around and I kind of found Vicky and I was like, you know what? This could be cool. This is a good opportunity. I was given it. We ran with it. Uh, obviously, we had a good run as Tenacity. We had some really good feuds, especially against the vindictive ones. And then uh, Dominic came back. And at that time, Eden was new. And I was like, I'll, I'll take him under my wing as well. And we just yeah. rejoined the new Mac. Because, um, yeah, I think the match that I saw you in that I remember was... You and Dominic against, um, I want to say, Cali Gray and <sighs> Jane Scar, I think. Yeah, that was it. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm sure he was, he was in the match. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and um, yeah. Even then, I saw like how fluid you you guys were as a like as a foursome. Yeah, you know that was my first match back after breaking my leg as well. So that was that was a big one for me. You could you, you wouldn't be able to tell it was like your first match, but oh. 
Cheers. Um, so, is there anyone you uh, is there anyone you'd like to face on the um, UK scene? You know what, dude? There's so many, there's so many talented people right now that I, I'd love to face, whether it's on a team or singly. You know, a few that jumped to my head: uh, Meathead down at SEPW, um, the Damned, um, the Gem Pro Champion. I'd love to face him. Um, I'd love to face Maverick again. I managed to face him recently at Drop Kicks, and he was one on my list for quite a long time. I'm so I was quite happy I got to face him. Uh, Fentos, I'd love to face Fentos. I've been a big fan of Fentos for years. I love him. So that, I think those guys would be quite a good match. I, I was actually going to mention uh, Maverick Mayhew, actually. Yeah. Because I thought to myself, that would be a great match. But um, yeah, so you've actually faced him before then? Literally um, a few months ago, I was really lucky to um, a drop kickster. That was a two out of three falls match or something like that. But yeah, I also knew him back in IPW when I was training, and he was yeah, always yeah. he was always really nice to everyone. I was like, oh, you know, it'd be cool to face him one day. And I, you know, I think nearly like two years later or something, I finally got to it. Yeah, no, he's a great guy, and congratulations to Maverick Mayhew actually. Yeah. He's just become a dad. He has, uh, as well as um, Dominic King. He's just become Daddy King. So yeah, <laughs> Dominic as well. I like that. Yeah. Uh, so who have been some of your favourite opponents? Obviously, uh, Maverick. Um, really loved facing Maverick Mayhew. Um, the Cali Gray match and Jane Scar match as well. Uh, I really loved facing those guys, especially because, again, I've known Cali, Cali for a really long time. And he, again, he was one on the list I went to face. But honestly, I have to say the vindictive ones, um, Luke Vega and Juan Van Dan, without a doubt, have been my favourite two people I've had to face. Without a doubt. Because um, was there a match that kind of broke down that ended up as a no contest? Oh, yeah, I got my ass kicked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that was um, that was the first gem pro show, was that? Um, I think something around those lines. First or second, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, around those. Yeah, I, I just remember me and uh, Vicky came out from the curtains, and next thing I knew, I was getting thrown for a fire exit. So uh, <laughs> it, it is, you know. <laughs> so, um, what have been some of your funniest moments, uh, either in matches or? Before and after shows. Um, so one that like really stands out to me, just as soon as you say that, um, my debut match with uh, Dominic, we were facing the Bone Brothers um, at oh, IPW, yes. and um, we're running the spot, and obviously being the first match, I was so into it, that I kind of forgot I was taking place in the match. It was, <laughs> like I'm sitting there like, oh, these are really good seats. I'm just watching Dominic just getting whooped. And next thing I know, I was meant to do a spot where I take a, a double clothesline. Yeah. That didn't happen. Dominic just got his head took off. I'm just standing there. Oh, and he weren't too happy after backstage, I'll tell you that for sure. <laughs> Bone Brothers are big guys. <laughs> we were a lot smaller back then as well, so uh, it really didn't help. But um, So are there any memories of like before or after shows that you can think? Oh, man, you know, there's so there's so many. Like with my guys as any mate, we're always joking the rounds before shows, after show. There's just so much that kind of like stands out to me that like just to single it down is hard. Yeah. Uh, you know, no, like, we can do a list. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come out with a top ten for you. Um <laughs> you, you know, again, like within the enigmatic, like there's so many different personalities, like, you know. Dominic can be really lazy and chill, but next thing you know, he's like a hyperactive 10-year-old on the, on the sugar rush. So it depends what sort of mood we're all in as well. But yeah, I mean, to be fair, Eden getting, like, getting sprayed, that was pretty funny to all of us. And to try and hide that is hard. So that's up there for me as well, because I found that pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> so who's the biggest choker at uh, shows? Dominic, without a doubt. Yeah, I, is that I, just in general or just uh, in Tennessee? It it all depends. Like Vicky's usually quite anxious, if she, but she always pulls through. Like she's she's 
without the doubt, she's the one who's got the sensible head on. <laughs> Eden would mess around, but he's he kind of the same thing. But Dominic, it's like you need him on reins or something. He's like very professional, but he would love to have a little mess around with you. Whereas then, like, the leader of the group, I'm kind of the face of it. So if anything that happens, I then get the flick in the ear for it. I'm it like, bad, yeah, yeah it's like, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I'm oblivious to it all. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got. I remember the um, interview we did before <laughs> on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> balls. We got right to the end, and Dominic messes it all up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I was like, because I said, I remember I said for the show, I was like, please don't swear, please don't swear. And it was going so well, and then like five minutes towards the end, he swears, and I'm like, oh. right, just all of our faces just drop. <laughs> But oh, we did so well. Yeah, Dominic. Yeah. We love him, but he's a pain in the ass. Um, right. Getting on to a serious um, subject. Mm. Um, you recently uh, broke your leg. Or, yeah. Well, was it recent? Um, 2019, so... Yeah, so with the pandemic and wrestling, it's still quite, you know. Yeah, but um, what I was wondering is, um, how's it affected you uh, mentally? You know, it's it, it kind of gave me a kick up the arse, but in the same sense, it reminded me that I'm not invincible. Beforehand, I was on such a high that I was kind of like, you know, nothing bad can go wrong. You know, I take all these crazy bumps, nothing really bad's happened to me. I'm always kind of known as the risk taker of Gem Pro or within Enigmatic. Like most of my guys are quite ground guys apart from Eden. So I was never really bothered by a lot of stuff. And then, you know, doing something as simple as a leapfrog and then break my shin bone in two places. It kind of reminds you, you're not as invincible as you think. But then it gave me the kick up the ass with motivation to kind of go, you know, keep going. These guys look up to you. You need to keep pushing forward. And there's a show in February. You know, if you, you know, can I recover in three months? And somehow I did, you know, the rest of the guys in the back called me Wolverine and stuff. They're like, there's no way you can recover in three months. You've been told six months to a year and three months I'm, I'm wrestling again. So, yeah, um, you, you kind of hit on something I was going to ask. Mm. Has, has it made you kind of second guess, um, like your wrestling moves, like your moveset? Yes and no. Like, I always say, like, you can't be scared to get back on the horse, like, you know, the common saying. And it was doing that first leapfrog back. It was terrifying. I was like, you know, is my leg strong enough? Is it just going to snap again? But, you know, when I'm in that ring, I tend to not really have that 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 thought in, the, in my head to go, what if? It's always just go. Like, I've always been very spontaneous with that. So the answer to that is probably no. <laughs> so uh, how did it, if you don't, if... Try again. Um, if you don't mind talking about it, how mm. did your injury actually um, happen? It was just a, a drill we was doing one day in training, just normal Sunday training. We was doing like a line of people and it was just leapfrogging over them and eventually we get faster. And uh, what happened was there wasn't enough space between one another training, so I kind of tried to do a big leap over them both. Yeah. I think I just landed wrong and I just heard my own shin just snap. Next thing I know, I'm on the floor. I'm just like, this can't be good. I can't move. I can't stand up. I shouldn't laugh. No. It's um, funny now looking back on it, but at the time I weren't too amused. <laughs> yeah, no. But um, so how important were um, tenacity in your recovery? You know, ha ha having my enigmatic guys and, you know, tenacity and all that, having them all by my side was massive. Just the amount of love I felt by them all when, you know, having like Vicky came all the way to the hospital with me. Um, I was getting phone calls from Dominic every so often to check on me, messages from Eden just constantly throughout the entire thing. And again, when there was that training, they see me sitting there. You know, I was never ignored. They always came up to me, spoke to me. I'd go do a little workout in the corner. They'd always come to check on me. So, you know, without those guys, that would have been really hard to recover from. So I owe him everything to get back in that ring. Uh that kind of leads nicely on, actually. Um, who would you say your best friends in wrestling are? Uh, you know, obviously Dominic. Dominic's obviously 100% always going to be my best friend in wrestling. 
um, you know, saying that's probably going to upset Vicky. But, um, you know, <laughs> me, me and Vicky are also stupidly close, um, as much as she annoys me. Eden as well, you know, those those are my guys. Um, I'm pretty good friends with Leo Strong as well. Like, a lot of the Gen Pro guys, we're all really close. We're tight unit down there but you know i'm starting to spread my wings go to a few other places you know i've met some really cool guys up at drop kicks um so shout out to the brotherhood they're really good guys so yeah so okay i kind of breaking the fourth wall here um it was actually leo strong that mentioned your name when i was uh looking for guests oh cool awesome yeah so yeah. Cheers, right, <laughs> So we'll finish off with a little bit of uh, word association. So I'll say a name and you say the first word that comes to your head. All right, okay. <laughs> it's not going to uh, go well, is it? <laughs> right, we'll start off with John Moores. Oh, awesome. Awesome guy. Um, Dominic King. So I'm not meant to do too much swearing this, but I'm just going to say, you know. No, no, no. Oh. no. Go for it. Yeah, let, let's let's not let's keep Dominic happy today. Let's boost his. <laughs> uh, uh, Vicky. Uh, best mate, without a doubt. Uh, tenacity. Tenacity. They're warriors, man. Uh, lastly, Horace Cameron. Horace Cameron. He can go do himself, mate. He really can. He's got a mouth on the size of him. <laughs> Oh, and I, I was there when he debuted for Jet Pro, so yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. In the ring, backstage, same guy, big mouth. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. Well, this has been a brilliant interview. Uh, thanks for joining me. Oh, cheers, it's been good chat. Yeah. So, as I say, I'll see you hopefully when the shows come back. Hopefully so, dude. Yeah, take care. And yourself.